What's up guys, this is James with Top Class Detail and in this video you're going to see me perform an express detail on a Toyota Camry. The vehicle is completely hammered so it definitely does need a lot of extra work but in this video you're going to get to see the steps I take from blowing it out to cleaning the door panels as well as the cup holders and the exterior wash process. Alright James, we're at the next car. Yes sir. What's the jabos? Uh, this one is just going to be an express detail inside out, so exterior wash, rims, tires, wheel wells, interior vacuum, wipe down, cup holders, windows. Okay, what's the difference between that and your maintenance wash? So the maintenance details are cars that have already been seen, that have already kind of been protected, where they just need to be a simple wipe down. With this, it's different, so we'll be scrubbing down all the... Um, We'll be scrubbing down all of the panels, scrubbing down everything else, getting all that taken care of, using the brushes on the cup holders. Like with that other car you saw, I used a different product, just misted everything on and wiped it off, and everything came off flawlessly. So with other cars like this, depending on the condition, because it is a first time client, he found me through the video, uh, it's looking like I'm gonna need to scrub it a little bit more, but that's all included, so. Hey, he found you through the YouTube videos? Yeah, so I believe, I believe so he did, because he uh, recognized you as soon hey, as you hey. came out. Hey man, you're getting so, business from the I know, YouTube. It's blowing up, it's blowing up. He said it himself too. He said, Yeah, you're blowing up off the YouTube videos. I said, Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah. All right, man. So, have you inspected the car or not yet? And have I you ordered him yet? So, I started him off at a, what I believe I told him was 65. Um, it looks not like my maintenance condition, it looks a little bit more. So, once I kind of get in there, it's mostly vacuum work though, but I know with the blower, it'll be very easy. So it shouldn't be anything too much. Uh, for the doors though, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, look at it, it's more so just vacuum work. Oh yeah. The seats and everything don't look too bad. Nice little wipe down, but the once I blow everything out, it should be look, looking very well. All right, man, cool. do your thing. Hey James, how's the job going, man? Good, uh, I'd say I'm just about finished up with the inside. I see a couple little spots that need to get taken care of, but um, I'm gonna let the customer know that his leathers hasn't been properly treated throughout the whole like duration of him having the vehicle. So due to that, even after fully cleaning the panels, stripping them down, there's still some spots on there that simply I can't get out just because one, the condition of the leather before we got here wasn't properly cared for, and two, there's just not much else for me to try with what we're doing for this maintenance detail, you know, or for the express detail. Are those stains, can you take those out in a different package or are they just difficult stains? Well, I don't want to say I could probably take them out. They might be there in the leather, might be the actual leather fading, but it may also help if I throw like a conditioner maybe, but I did let the, I'm going to let him know. Uh, this one came out very fine. You can see that looks kind of perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But just like these little spots, like right here, you see this? Some of these might be scuffs or even like um, oh. oil stains. So I know that latex stains tend to almost become permanent on leather, but there's other little things. If you can see, everything else came out flawless, just those one spots. So that's how you know it's something that's just right there. Either they kicked it or maybe just happened to. Is this, is this one? Oh, no, nah, it's the reflection. I'm tripping over you here. You can, if you look at it, like at this angle, you can see there's like a little bit of drips. Maybe there was somebody else here. But oh, is this some on the seats too right here? Yeah, I gotta hit that right there. But oh, you could remove that? I'm gonna try it right now. Hey man, now that you cleaned it. It looks good, you, huh? Yeah, but you can start seeing more flaws in it. Yeah. Like the little stains on the seats. Sometimes the dirt covers everything up, just like the same thing for the outside of the car. 
Sometimes you won't see a scratch, won't see certain dings or marks, just because the car is so dirty that the dirt's covering everything up. But once you fully clean it, get everything stripped to how it's supposed to look, that's when you start to see the real truth into you know how your vehicle looks and how your leather looks specifically in this case. And let me ask you, is this an upsell opportunity or you think, nah, so, it is what it is? Yeah, this is because of what we had already booked over the phone and time-wise, I don't have the time to go and make it like a full detail and do everything else. But I can advise them, let them know what it is we can do, the options we have from here. And then since it is a first time customer too, I try not to always upsell first time. So what I do is I let them try it out. I'll tell you, hey, you know what? Let's start off with this first, see how you like the service. If it's something you wish to continue with, then the next one we can go ahead and book this. Uh, I just don't want the client to almost feel like I'm trying to upsell them the first time and get them to do you know, the biggest package when at all. I just want you to you know, try things out, be satisfied. And then if you wish in the future, we can get it done. Dang, Jim, you a pro, Jim, you a pro. What are you spraying right there? Uh, I'm spraying some Tardex. So if you look right here on the bottom, there's a lot of black marks right here and this is all tar or even scrapes from the road. So when you spray this, you see how it's bleeding right there? Yeah. That's all gonna come out and keep bleeding. So this way when I come in to wash it, you can see it wipes off easy. All right. Let me see the product. Sorry? Let me see the product. Where's it from? CarPro. CarPro Tardex. In the last video, someone said, what happened to the car behind the Escalade when it got wet like that? And someone said a free car wash. <laughs> so what's up, they're getting a free car wash? <laughs> yeah, someone said a free car wash. How about this car over here? Well, I, I told them, I responded back, I said, well, I'll rinse it off after, but it's spotless water. So for the most part, nothing happens. It falls on it and then it just disappears. So you're just gonna rinse this off and that's it? Yeah. Okay. No free car washes. No, no free car washes today, guys. We're busy, we're busy. I think that's about it. Uh, there's a couple little drips of water I'm gonna pick up with the towel. But other than that, I would say everything came out very well for what we uh, did here. There are a couple spots here, like uh, some of these dots. This is all iron contamination that's built into the paint. If you listen to this, you can hear the roughness. It sounds like sandpaper. So that's how you know that the car needs to be clayed, uh, uh, clayed iron as well as wax. So I'll let the customer know about this because some of these dots, these will not come out with a regular wash. These need other treatment in order to remove that. So I'll let him know about that and then about some other things just, you know, for in the future, if he wants to get those touched up, he can let me know and I can book an appointment with him to clean all that up. Cause you can see like this chrome's a little bit faded out. There's just some things that need to be touched up just a little bit here and there. But other than that race, we're just about ready to go. The one thing I do want to stress to you guys is 
With mobile detailing, we work off of packages, which means whatever is included in the package is what we're coming here to do and get paid for. So a lot of times the car does need extra work. It does need a clay bar. It does need some other treatments. But when the client messages me and books the appointment for just this service, we're only going to come through and do this. But we will definitely advise the client, you know, hey, your chrome needs to be polished. Your car needs to be clayed. Car needs to be waxed. Just because I know a lot of people in the comments you know, let me know about that. So I just want to let you guys know, I do notify the customer, but when I show up, I do just show up for the job that we had booked for. Any of the other add-ons, we can either add on or do next time. Interior cleaned up all the cup holders for you. You can see vacuumed up everything that was out here. The only thing is uh, there's some staining like on your door panels that I wasn't able to get off with the, you know, cleaning that we had already did. I'm not too sure if it's permanent in there or what it may be, right. but went ahead and got everything else cleaned up. I touched up the leather, so it was a little bit greasy. So got that cleaned up for you. Door jams, wheels, tires, everything like that's all complete. Oh, looks cool. good, bro. Yes, sir. And then the only thing is just, um, just like to let you know what you may need in the future. Uh, there's like yeah. some dots on here that you'll see like didn't come off. So these won't come off with a regular wash. This oh, is actually okay. something that you need a clay bar and an iron treatment for. So this is just built up contamination. But okay. just letting you know, so in the future, if you ever decide you want to remove this or know. get it cleaned up, that would be the, okay. the package that we'd have to the go clay with. Bar and the polish would be the same thing? Or is that so no, okay. so the clay bar and polish is separate. The, I have a clay and seal package, which is going to be the exterior where we clay bar the car, iron treatment, and then seal it up with a wax or okay. a spray sealant. Um, the Polish is a bit different. We can polish the car out. Um, that's just to remove a little bit of hazing, swirling, as well as some light oxidation on the vehicle. And then okay. if you want to apply something after, we can definitely do that. Starting price for that would be about 500, 550. And then for the clay and seal, you'd be looking at about 150. So okay. it's about a $400 difference, mostly because the polishing does take a couple hours and the pads and time that goes into it is a lot longer and more than the regular. Um, What's going on everybody? This is James with Top Class Detail. And in this video, you've seen me detail this Toyota Camry and express detail inside out. You saw how the car looked before we came here. It was a lot of trash, was a lot of mess, a lot of vacuum work, but we definitely came here, got everything taken care of, squared away, customer satisfied. But if you enjoyed at all any of the content you liked here, make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Top Class Detail, as well as check the links in the description for any of the tools used here from brushes, chemicals, sprays. It'll all be linked down below. They are affiliate links, so they don't charge you anything extra, but they do help out the channel and help us provide better content for you.